All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about a new development that has been going on in the last few years here in the United States in regards to how we handle the internet. It's something that I think is kind of flying a little bit under the radar. Now some of you watching this video will almost certainly live in states where some of these new restrictions that I'm going to be talking about in this video have already been rolled out. As of now, several states have already enacted legislation that requires web websites, specifically more of, you know, adult websites, NSFW websites, basically having to verify the age of users beforehand. Now, this has been a concept that has been talked about for years here on the internet, right? What would it look like if the internet went from more of this digital wild west that we've kind of always known it as, and it went a more, you know, traditional route where instead of everybody being anonymous and talking about things online without fear of repercussions, people would actually you know, show their ID or verify themselves in some way so that we can solve a whole slew of different problems. Basically, you know, age verification, ID verification, it's kind of the same thing at this point. The reason why is because a lot of these places are using ID verification as the form of, a of age verification. So basically in these states where this is already enacted, uh, you want to say, go look at a nudie website or whatever, right? You go to the website, it tells you like, hey, you're state congressman or whatever has helped ena enable some legislation that makes us verify your age and you basically have to enter in like a verification process for your ID and whatnot. Usually it's like a scan or whatever. Now obviously a lot of people probably aren't fans of this new concept but it is one that is slowly but surely becoming more and more embraced by the country at large and in this video I want to talk about this phenomena, some of the more recent developments that have come along with it as well as the potential concept consequences or outcomes that this could really lead to. So a campaign by social media giant Meta to force app store giants Google and Apple to verify the ages of their users is picking up momentum with legislators in Congress. Federal and state lawmakers have recently proposed a raft of measures requiring that platforms such as Meta's Facebook and Instagram block users under a certain age from using their sites. The push has triggered fierce debate over the best way to ascertain how old users are online. Last year, Meta threw its support behind legislation that would push those obligations onto the app stores rather than individual app providers like itself as your regular host and Naomi Nix reported. While some states have considered the plan, it has not gained much traction in Washington. That could be shifting. So like I said, we've already seen the beginning waves of this starting to roll out. Usually, like I said, it's pretty much aimed towards almost exclusively the nudie websites. Some of it has been more aimed towards even social media restrictions as well. Now, you know, maybe 15 years ago, I want to say, this probably was a debate that wouldn't even really be happening. I mean, sure, you could bring it up, but people would have never really taken something like this very seriously. I mean, this is definitely becoming a more and more new age kind of thinking because the anonymity that the internet provides has always been like the centerfold of the internet, right? Now, you might be thinking, Optimus, why do you keep talking about privacy and about the digital Wild West and anonymity and whatnot when it comes to this? stuff, right? They're just trying to protect the kids. They're just trying to protect people from seeing smut and garbage and stuff they shouldn't, right? Well, I understand the reason why this is being done. And unfortunately, this is just one of the many fronts that this whole thing is really being pushed on. And I think the reason that it's unfortunate is because it makes people think about the issue in a much more narrow way. Now, obviously, with social media, we have a lot of shit that obviously was not a problem 50 years ago, right? Like, you know, you didn't have four-year-old children doom scrolling TikTok all day just seeing the worst possible garbage being pushed into their brains, right? You know, back then, if the kids wanted to look at the screen, they had to go watch TV and everything on TV was pretty regulated and whatnot, right? So now there's this more recent discussion of, oh, well, should we start forcing people to verify their age when it comes to social media and a bunch of other different things online? Now, the reasoning is is they want to protect kids from social media and shit like that. Obviously, there's been plenty of studies out there that have shown all the negative impact that growing up with social media really causes for children. And so now as a society, people I think are more lenient towards shit like their kid watching 12 hours of 
TikTok a day than even people were with video games 10 to 15 years ago, right? I remember a time when, you know, people thought if you looked at the screen for too long, oh, you're going to burn your retinas. It's going to ruin your brain, kid. Now there's four-year-old children, like I said, doom scrolling TikTok half of the day. So they're trying to find a way to make it to where kids aren't just consuming garbage from like the earliest of ages online. And they're trying to prevent people from going down these rabbit holes to where they become addicted to things like porn or they become addicted to things like social media. Now, the only real way to actually verify people's ages online is through ID verification. There's really no other way that's as actually effective. I mean, there are other ways that you could try, but there's so many loopholes for them. Having to like scan your ID or verify your ID actually verifies that, hey, this person is this age, this is where they live, yada, 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 right? Now, the thing is, with issues like this, it gets brought up like it's just a universally great thing. Like, oh, well, look at the social media companies like Meta. They're throwing their support behind this legislation to make these app developers and these app stores actually pay attention to the consequences. And I don't think people understand that this is a much more business related decision with different motives than what are actually being presented. Now, I don't want to sit here and pretend like, you know, preventing your child from looking at bad shit online is stupid because obviously I think every parent in America is somewhat worried to at least a degree about the stuff that their kids could consume online. Now, when I was a kid growing up, uh, our parents like monitored what we did. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying that parents just have lost this ability. I think a lot of people just don't care to, at least as much as they should. And as a result, you know, we've seen things where like parents get frustrated. They don't want to deal with their kid crying anymore. So they throw a tablet in front of them, right? And as a result, now these kids have just been seeing shit they shouldn't be seeing all this time because they're getting unfiltered access to the internet. So now we're at a point in society where we're trying to correct the problem, not inside of the household, not in in the way that we parent, but more or less, you know, with government oversight. Now, the problem with this government oversight is, you know, by verifying people's ID online, especially when it comes to using social media and whatnot, this is something that eventually evolves to where most shit will require an ID to some degree. It always starts off with like one or two things. You know what I mean? They always starts, oh, we're only focusing on these things, but then gradually, you know, it just starts becoming more normal and more websites start requiring it, even if they're not smut, even if they're not garbage. And a lot of people worry that this could basically lead to an internet where in order to basically use any service or do anything, you have to verify your ID. Now, that would be a terrible thing for free speech and for free expression online. One of the main ways that the internet is so powerful for the everyday person is it gives people, even people in vulnerable zones in the world, the opportunity to speak out, you know, to utilize free speech, to talk to the masses. You know, if you live in a terrible regime and you have internet with a VPN, you can speak out on the forums or you can post evidence or whatever, right? But in a world where everybody has to identify themselves before they basically use anything on the internet, it would lead to a much more restricted, you know, flow of information. This is the worries that a lot of people, including myself, have about a lot of this stuff, right? Because while I don't doubt anyone would support making sure that kids aren't seeing a lot of the shit that they shouldn't be seeing online, right? We all support making sure that kids are watching age appropriate content. The problem the problem with that is, is that realistically the only way to actually effectively enforce it in mass is to do it the one way that may, in essence, also destroy all of these other online privileges. Now, you know, Meta, they're, they're, oh, look at them. They're trying to help. They're pushing their support. The only reason that they're pushing their support is because this would pass the liability off of them. Instead of them as the platform that owns Facebook and Instagram and whatnot, they would usually be responsible for the content on their platform unless they, you know, did efforts to clear it up and whatnot, Safe Harbor Act and all these other things, right? But they want to pass this on to like Apple and Google, the people who own the app stores, because if they're the ones who have to constantly you know, monitor everything. They're the ones who have the ID verification. The restrictions that would be put in place for them get pushed onto the third party, which is an integral part to their business. Senator Mike Lee and Representative John James could introduce the legislation imminently, the people said. The bill would be the first of its kind on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers have called for expanding guardrails for children amid concerns about the risks of social media, but where political divisions have bogged down talks. The measure would give parents the right to sue an app store if their child 
child was exposed to certain content such as lewd or sexual material according to a copy obtained by the tech brief. App stores could be protected against legal claims, however, if they took steps to prevent children against harms, such as verifying their ages and giving parents the ability to block app downloads. Such a bill would give Meta's campaign a powerful ally in Lee, the ranking Republican on the Senate's antitrust subcommittee, who has partnered with Democrats on legislation targeting Google and, yes, Meta, over their dominance in digital advertising. So when you hear news like this, don't think that companies like Meta are pushing shit like this in the best interest of the people. They really care about the kids. They really care about online safety. They're doing it because they have their own personal reasons as a company for doing this. It is nothing more than a business chess game move to them, okay? Now, once again, I'm not saying that there's not problems with how the internet works and, you know, how kids are being exposed to shit online, but I do think that it is something we should discuss in terms of the side effects and the consequences that age verification could have on the grand scheme of things, right? Because this is one of those decisions, like I said, once it's actually effectively made and, you know, the first couple dominoes fall it's something where everything eventually goes down that road and I don't want to be the guy to be like oh every time you log into literally everything every little menu on your computer every app on your phone you're gonna have to show your ID but in terms of the shit that people actually use like social media and whatnot these things might become more prevalent I mean they're already starting to show up for very specific categories in some states already like I said you know 15 20 years ago this would have been a lot more of a taboo topic to discuss when it comes to online privacy, age verification, ID verifications, things like that, right? But as it stands right now, it seems like America as a country is really shifting on the topic. It's starting to really shift in favor of, you know, maybe there should be more guardrails up. Maybe we should put the bumpers up on the lane a little bit here. Make sure the ball is guided where it needs to go because kids are being harmed by this shit. You know, they're rotting their brains on some of these apps. They're seeing shit and imitating shit that they shouldn't be. Now, personally, in an ideal world, for me, it would always come down to the parent, right? Like as a parent, you should know what your children are doing. You know, you buy them a tablet, you set it in the room for Christmas or whatever. You should know what apps that they're downloading. You should know what they're searching on the internet. You should be monitoring what they're doing. You should be setting up time restrictions. You should be setting up parental controls. You should be blocking apps. You should be blocking websites. I think that we've gotten to a part where people are like, oh, that's what the lame parents do. The lame parents make sure their kids can't get on bad websites. The lame parents set up time restrictions. No, the parents who care about their children's development, they're the ones doing this stuff. And sure, do some people take it to a crazy fucking far extent that it doesn't need to be? Absolutely. But would I rather them take it to the far extent of all oh, my child's not allowed to watch YouTube or whatever? If it meant that, you know, kids weren't being completely fucking ruined to the point where there's legislation trying to get ID verification normalized online? I mean, come on now. I don't know. Realistically, is this going to pass? Is this going to be something that actually goes through? I don't really think so. I figure, at least in the politics of America right now, there's a lot more pressing concerns going on as to what they have their focus on. You know, the border, immigration, Ukraine, Israel, all these other fucking things going on that we pay for. I figure that it'll be something that probably won't be done tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like tomorrow, you're not going to have an ID to check into Facebook, right? But give it five or 10 years and you're going to start seeing it. And that's if the current trend continues. You're going to start seeing it. And then people are going to be like, well, what the fuck is this? This is confusing to me. I don't understand what's going on here. But by that time, even if, you know, there's bad consequences that start popping out for shit like this, the genie is already out of the bottle by that point. You know what I mean? You've already started pushing society one way. You know, the pendulum may swing back, but it would take time and it would take a lot of effort to undo all of that political shit, right? So I guess we'll have to see how this continues to develop. Like I said, I don't expect this to like be something done tomorrow, but if you keep seeing this trend continue, you're going to see more and more states and more and more people opening up to this idea until the point where it just becomes the norm and it might become like a federal thing, right? So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Optimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about online age verification and signing out.